What's up everybody, Adam here, and I'm coming to you today with a comic book unboxing. Uh, I placed an order from Midtown Comics. Uh, I placed it on the 12th, and it came today on September 17th, so it came pretty quickly, five days. You can't complain about that. They processed the order and shipped it out quick, and it came in this handy dandy box. I already split the tape open because in all of my unboxing videos, that's a thing I deal with, is fighting the tape. So, if you came for the opening of the tape part, I'm sorry, I, I cheated and cut the tape before I started. But hey, let's look inside. So, they do a pretty good job shipping. You can see it's nice and bubble wrapped in here, so there isn't a lot of loose space. And it's that nice industrial bubble wrap. It doesn't pop. And then included is a little coupon little thing being like, hey, come spend some money here. And then my personal information and invoice, which I'm not going to show you. But then in there is a bag. And it actually says Midtown Comics. So they give you a bag from their actual shop. And then in said bag, try not to rip the bag. When you order books from them, they bag and board, which is actually really cool that they bag and board all the books that they ship out to you. So they really want to make sure that your stuff is taken care of. So let's go ahead and see what we got in here. First up, we have A-Force number three. Uh, I somehow forgot to pick that up at my local shop. I also discovered recently that I forgot to get Spider-Verse, I want to say number four. So I might be looking up um, Midtown Comics again here, looking for some stuff. Uh, next up, we have Superman Wonder Woman number nine, uh, the older bombshell variant there. Uh, I love the Wonder Woman bombshell design. I think she's really, really cool. So I love the fact that I was able to pick up another book with that character design. Next up is Harley Quinn number seven, again. The bombshell variant. Uh, this is a book I wanted to pick up with the original bombshell runs, but I uh, missed out on it. I was not able to get it. And then some of the places that I did find it, they wanted like 15, 20 bucks for it. So I was like, well, that's a book I'm not going to get. Uh, I got this for, I want to say, three bucks on Midtown. So they are not charging any outlandish prices. Um, same thing for all the variants. I think they were like 350 or something like that. So I like it. Same thing for Batman number 43 variant. This is technically my wife's book. I love the Bruce Wayne Detective Agency thing going on here. It's really, really cool looking. Uh, my shop wanted eight bucks for this, and I got this for a little less than cover price on Midtown Comics. So I'm pretty happy and excited about that one. Uh, next up is it's a book I already own, but it's the tie of number two. I actually bought this one because I wanted all of the stained glass covers. There's stained glass covers and then there's like character covers. And as nice as the character covers are, I like the stained glass covers more. So I have one through four now with the stained glass. So I get those bagged and board and kept to the side because I have my trade that I got recently. Next up, we have Secret Six number five, which is the bombshell variant with Harley Quinn. Uh, this is another one that my shop wanted like eight bucks for and I got this for again just over cover price so that's another one I'm really happy that I was able to pick up next up Batman number 44 um, I've just been seeing this pop up in a lot of people's polls and when they said it was by Jock I wanted to jump on it uh, I love his artwork I have the complete run of The Losers, which is by Diggle and Jock, and it's his artwork that kind of pulled me into it, and the story itself was great too, but anytime I can pick up some stuff by Jock, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, in addition to that, we have uh, Batman number 44, the Green Lantern 75th anniversary variant. Uh, this is also another just really, really cool Green Lantern variant. I think a couple of the Batman books got really cool variants. This one and the son of the Robin son of Batman I think are my two favorites I've seen of those variants. Uh, next we have the Catwoman number 44 Green Lantern variant which again is another one that I thought was just 
really cool with her with all the uh, Green Lantern rings. Like she just pulled off a big high stealing all the rings from Green Lantern, which I'm not really sure how she would have done, but it doesn't matter. It's really cool to see. And then last but not least, uh, probably my favorite book that I got out of this is The Tithe Number One. It's another one of the variant covers for it. And it's actually signed by the writer, Matt Hawkins. You can see it right here, right in this area. See if you can get a little bit closer, you can kind of see where it's written on there and try not to get terrible glare on there. But uh, I love this series. And when I saw they had a signed copy for, I think it was only eight bucks. Uh, I want to go ahead and snag it. Unfortunately, like there's no like certificate of authenticity. Um, I am gonna tweet at him though. I've had a, a couple of small conversations with him, humble brag. No, but he's actually a pretty cool guy on Twitter. He talks to people, talks to the fans, so it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm gonna send him a picture of this and be like, "Did you actually sign this?" You know, see if he signs something from Midtown Comics or something like that. But um, this is a book that's not going to come out of its bag. This might be one that gets graded, or at least framed. Because I don't know, I don't know how grading handles signatures unless they're like actual certified signatures. But yeah, that is everything I got in my Midtown Comics box. I was actually really, really happy with it. Uh, you guys saw how well they actually take care of the books and they send them to you and they all match pretty much the description of quality. Everything I bought said near mint, all of those books look fantastic. They don't look bent, they don't look out of shape, they look really, really good. So based on that, I would say if you want to order from somebody, check out Midtown Comics. This is not a paid endorsement by Midtown Comics, I promise. Not an advertisement, I just, I ordered from them, I like it a lot. Uh, so anyways, until next video, this is Adam. Signing off.